Uno. Dos. It is Semana Santa in Mexico City, and that means the Bosque de Chapultepec Park is completely filled with people. Hungry people. And I also know one particularly hungry guy. It's this guy. Dude, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Exploring with Cody. We are on the search for Mexican street food. And that brings us here to the Bosque de Chapultepec to find some. So Cody and I are on the search for a particular kind of street food. It is called chicharron. It's probably one of the most common street foods here you can find in Mexico. It's actually Spanish originally, and you can find it all across Latin America. And there are two kinds. There is the unhealthy kind, they call it, which is made out of flour, and the real kind, which is supposed to be the healthy kind, which is made with pig fat. It's like diet chicharron. <laughs> exactly. So we found the small little store. They have a wide selection of different kinds of chicharrones, and we're gonna try this iconic Mexican snack right now. Are you ready? No, but yes. Let's St do it. Stomach, are you ready? It says, <laughs> don't, please don't do this to me. <laughs> Ricos chicharrones preparados. Preparados con qué? With what? Con col, jitomate, aguacate, cueritos, crema, salsa, limón y sal. Okay, bueno. A ver qué le damos. Búfalo. Sí, por favor. El otro. El otro. Sí. Solito. Solito. Igual entero. Sí, igual entero. Más picante, limón y sal. Sí. All right, so we just ordered two chicharrones enteros. So enteros means the whole thing. It's basically one giant fried pork fat pizza. On this one, there is tomato. There is aguacate, which is avocado. Cream, like three kinds of sauces, and our favorite, which pig is... skin. <laughs> it's back. It looks like the pig tail. It does. Cueritos, pickled pork skin. Mmm. So we're gonna try this one second. We'll try the original one first with just some salsa and things on top. Then we'll dig into our giant, huge, massive <laughs> pizza. It literally is just every topping you could order. I don't even know if that could all fit in my stomach. All right, Cody. <laughs> I was just telling Mike, I thought I could have gotten away with the white t-shirt and the red, but here we are. We're trying this one. It's, it's a little less full to start off. We're gonna work our way up. Uh, but here we are, Chicharron, Exploring with Cody, 2018. Let's do it. <laughs> Eating stuff that stains shirts. <laughs> it's so crunchy. <laughs> so what do you think? Spicy, crispy pizza. It's more like a... There's a hair in this. <laughs> it's a, it's a, probably a pig hair. No, that's not a pig hair. That's the that's person here. <laughs> um, what was the question? May I say how light this is? It is like... It's a light snack. It feels a little bit heavier than a sheet of paper. It feels like cardboard, actually. <laughs> and I've been in Mexico for maybe over a year and I've never actually had chicharron. I've seen it everywhere. Big slabs of this stuff in markets, on the street. I've never actually had it. I thought today would be a good day. <laughs> but I feel like one bite and it's gonna crack like a glacier and all fall to pieces. That was my thought, yeah. <laughs> You, I was gonna say, you literally got nothing. You're gonna have to keep biting. <laughs> there we go. It's kind of like, like pig flavored Cheetos. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Like pig flavored Cheetos. But you know what? I, pork rinds aren't something I can find in Canada. Pork rinds are famous in the United States, right? Yeah, yeah. Not really in Canada. This is like pork rinds, right? Yeah, now that I think of it, you're right. It, it's a bit like Cheetos. It's like a spicy pork grind Cheeto. I feel like if it if we took some salt off it and you put milk, it'd be an okay cereal. <laughs> All right, let's upgrade. Level two. I don't even know how you approach that. See, I'm gonna have to take several bites just to get into anything. <laughs> I feel like we need an eating strategy and how not to get our shirts completely <laughs> covered. <laughs> then you have to eat it like a pig. You just stick your face in and go. Exactly. Ah, nah, 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 that's, nah, nah. that's the whole thing. Hay una manera más fácil comerlo. Just, 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 
<laughs> just like that. They, they say they say you should stick your face in. <laughs> May I say that this is a beautiful thing? <laughs> what, do you, what do you think about that? It just literally looks like a skinned pork tail or pigtail. <laughs> that is cueritos, my friend. Pickled pork skin. On your mark. Get set. Go. <laughs> oh man. All right, first impression. A lot of tomato. <laughs> a good amount of avocado. So, would you prefer it like before, like this one with just the salsas? Or do you like it yeah. with everything on top? If I was gonna eat it, I would eat it that way. Yep. This way. I don't know. The pig skin, I think I took a, a big bite of, because I really don't like it. <laughs> I took a big bite of the, pig, the pickled pig skin. Ugh. I, I'm, I'm having like food stress. Food stress? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. We're gonna, okay. This is it. This is me. This is right. This is this is where I'm gonna go. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it tastes a little bit like nachos. Hold on a second. Don't judge me yet. It tastes like nachos because we have like some tomato -y type salsa, we have cream on top, there's tomato, there's cabbage, there's avocado. I didn't even taste much of the pig fat on that bite. I'm gonna make another one. <laughs> You're a brave man, Mike. With less, with less cueritos, because the cueritos I'm not a big fan of. Salsa, tomato, avocado. This was 50 pesos, which is like two, three dollars American. I would argue this could be health food. <laughs> There's a lot of vegetables on there, but it's not that bad. By itself, I didn't feel like it was particularly healthy. This on top at least has some vitamins and some minerals and some healthy stuff. I, if I'm gonna come back, would get this. The more expensive deluxe chicharron with the extra ingredients. But I would say next time, hold the cuaritos because I think I have to have pure Mexican it's dripping blood. dripping on you, watch out. I think I have to have pure Mexican blood to like this. Yeah. Even a lot of Mexicans don't like it, but some absolutely love it. I don't think I'll ever like cueritos. However, I think this ends our, our, our food chapter for today, Cody. I think so. Let's go find someone we can give this to. <laughs> I'm sure someone will gladly take it. Chicharron usado, medio precio? No. Oh, uh, yeah. Medio precio, es, es usado un poquito. No. <laughs> ¿Les, ¿Les gusta? ¿Los, los um, curitos también? Yo no me gustan los curitos. No, o sea, es piel, sí, piel de perpura. ¿Les gusta? ¿Tú? ¿Curitos? ¿Les gusta? The kid likes really? it, the mom likes it. I don't know, man. Maybe I just have to eat more of them. Yeah, just practice. All right, so as this drips all over my forearm and my shoes, luckily our shirts are still clean. Somehow. Which is amazingly lucky. Cody and I have been eating some street foods across Mexico City. Make sure to check out his videos about we, we ate donkey meat. We ate a donkey. <laughs> Just 10 minutes ago. We ate Dori Locos. We ate tacos, like brain tacos. Brain. We've had a big handful of weird foods. Had to try it all. <laughs> he has an awesome exploring channel. Yeah. We'll be seeing some cool places. Check out his cool. videos. They're Thank super you, dope. If you're in Mexico City, come try the deluxe. Chicharron. I agree, I agree. You gotta try it at least once. Exactly. For sure. Experience over possessions, kick the grind. Right.